Welcome back to more Astergo's Curse of the Stars. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. We've come back to the shelter to speak with Minerva to find out what's going on. Good. Now that we have the polarized light reader, we can begin. Wow. What is this? Just a moment. I need to analyze this conduction ring first. Reversing the flow. Nexus. A ritual? So that's what he's up to. Hilda, the chests inside the Laurelcraft treasury have all been ransacked, right? On my honor. Good. I believe you. Unfortunately, I now know what Humanities is doing. You may already be aware of this, but on that towering peak behind the city, there is a light that shines unceasingly. That's the Nexus, Aphis's biggest and purest starite. Bestowed upon us, we believe, by the Three. Our civilization developed around the Nexus, and achieved glory by the use of magic. However, even thousands of years of research haven't enabled us to fully control its power. Humanities is trying to master the Nexus in order to gain its limitless power. Could the device from this design allow him to control the Nexus? Yes. Humanities instructed the North Wind Legion to gather the materials necessary to make conduction rings, and then install them in each conduit. The conduits were originally intended to distribute the power of the Nexus. However, conduction rings alter the direction of the energy flow, concentrating all of the energy of the conduit in the hands of the user. That energy could then be used to control the Nexus. Wouldn't that be problematic? Trying to control the Nexus with excessive and unrefined force could make it unstable. If the energy isn't controlled properly, it could trigger another apocalyptic magic storm. And if he can control it properly? This is just speculation, but he could gain mastery of all living things, curse or no curse. He could choose to remove our curse, or he could lead us in another direction. And then, even if you wear an amulet, neither you nor the North Wind Legion will be able to escape his grasp. Everyone will become a puppet in his hands. He alone will decide the fate of every one of us. No. I won't allow that to happen. Neither will I. We must do everything we can. Hilda, we must stop your father from completing his mission and put an end to humanity's plan. I must stop him. Let me know when you're ready and we'll continue our work. Yeah, let's continue. Well, let's not continue our work, actually. Let's go over to Vulcane and see if we can level up a couple of things. Hey, sweetie, what's up? We really should upgrade these. Oh, we don't have the quenching solution. Still. Hmm. What about the enhancements? Yeah, it costs so much. Oh, I was going to go buy... Thank you. You know what? Let's go buy the uh, the thing from Quintus here. How can this humble servant be of service, friend? I think it's this, the Chris the crystal nucleus. Five thousand, way too expensive. Let's buy it. I look forward to your next visit, friend. And I think with that, we can upgrade our astral damage. Hey, sweetie, what's up? Yeah. And now astral concentrate. Another 5,000. Do I want to spend all my stuff on this? I really just use these two. I don't use these ones much at all. But... Yeah, I think it might be worth it in case we come across something that is resistant to fire. Yeah. All right, that's all our money. What about trinkets? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Can't afford any of that. All right, let's go back to Minerva.
I'm ready. What are you planning to do? Hilda, you've proved yourself to me. I've seen your ability and your determination. And I have seen your destiny. From now on, I hope things will be more equal between us. What do you mean? I mean, we share the same goal. From now on, I'll do everything I can to help you, and I'll tell you all about my objectives and plans. Understand? That's surprising. What made you change your mind? Because you're... no, never mind. I just think things will be better this way. Don't you agree? Of course. And I'll repay your trust. It's the Northwind Legion's way. I'm happy we can be friends. Friends? That's not really what I had in mind. Oh, did I misunderstand? No, you're right. It's as you say. So, I've finished deciphering the documents Marissa brought back. This is the biggest breakthrough we've had so far. I'm confident that we can deal with the crisis in Aphis. However, that will only make the next thing we need to do even more challenging. I'm really going to need your help. You can count on me. So, what's your plan? To tell you that, I need to first tell you about Asteragos. A thousand years ago in Aphis, Humanities and I came up with a plan that would lead all Ephesians into a bright new era. Inside the city, we constructed a system of conduits, and gave every resident, regardless of their class, a resonator. Resonators, just like your necklace, generate a resonance with a conduit, allowing the user to enjoy the benefits that magic brings. But something went wrong. More and more people suffered magical mutations as a result of the resonators. Humanities frantically tried to find the cause of the problem and solve it, but to no avail. Nothing he tried could stop the spread of the magical mutations. Until he came across an ancient legend. According to this legend, anything could be achieved by performing a ritual called Aspiration on Trinity Night. Disregarding widespread opposition, he went ahead and performed the ceremony, wishing to remove the magical mutations by manipulating the power of the Nexus. But the ritual ended in failure. It was that night that Asteragos descended upon Aphis. No wonder you say he's the culprit, and no wonder you react so strongly whenever I mention him. So now you know. Anyway, to get back to the point, my plan is to perform the aspiration again, but this time, do it correctly. Again? Didn't you say the power of the Nexus can't be controlled? I understand you have doubts, so feel free to ask me anything. Let's see. Why does Humanities need the Northwind Legion and Tanrius's research documents? Let's ask about this. What was in the documents that Marissa brought back? It was research proving that a similar ritual had been successfully performed several millennia ago. In addition to it needing to be performed on Trinity Night, the ritual requires three ancient relics in order to keep it stable. Relics are the key. So a thousand years ago, Eumenides failed because he didn't have the relics. Exactly. And now he's disregarding the research and planning to do things his way. We can't allow him to repeat the same mistake. And let's not forget, even if he's successful, it'll only make him even more of a threat. Yes, that's true. Tanrius's research also points out that the Nexus was damaged because of Eumenides' last failure. Unless we can find a way to repair its structural matrix, performing the ritual again will be extremely dangerous. So, we need to collect the three relics, find a way to repair the Nexus, and persuade Eumenides to let us use it. I get the feeling he's not an easy person to persuade. There are many ways to persuade someone. We just need to find the right one. But I don't understand. Why does Eumenides want to work with my father? Because he no longer has any other allies in the city. Right now we lack cohesion. It is difficult for us to unite. But with his abilities, it wouldn't be difficult for him to do it alone, would it? It's true that Eumenides can use his apparition to shuttle back and forth, but the apparition can't touch solid matter. 
With his help, the Northwind Legion are highly maneuverable and are inherently very skilled warriors. Moreover, they're the only ones who don't know who Eumenides is. He's unlikely to let go of the Northwind Legion before the ritual is complete. It's awful the way he's using them. Knowing my father, he'd never return empty-handed if he found a way to save the king. I'm positive Eumenides won't share with him the details of the ritual or its outcome. If we see your father, we must make him see Eumenides for who he really is. Oh, okay. What will become of Eumenides? Can't say for sure, but he'll pay the price for his actions. He's been damaging the city for too long. He's destroyed my hopes and dreams and has tormented every one of us. And for that alone, I'll never forgive him. What if he really has lost his mind? Then there's even less reason to hold back. What bothers me, though, is that you won't be able to, you won't be able to accept what I'm going to do. After everything that's happened, there's no longer any uh, affection between us. We are husband and wife in name only. But you get so upset every time you mention him. That's... It's because... I don't mean any offense. I just want to understand. Perhaps things don't need to end so badly. I hope so too. Let's ask about the Trinity Knight. The Trinity Knight you mentioned before. What is that? It's a special holy alignment of stars that appears once every thousand years. On that night, the three main stars, which represent the three, perfectly align to form a great triangle in the sky. Any living being sensitive to magic experiences an amplified magical effect. It's been a thousand years since the last Trinity Night, and the next one's almost upon us. So a star formation that appears once every thousand years... And Bari's history doesn't stretch back that far. And I think these are just repeats of what we had before. Let's conclude. So what should I do now? I think I know where the relics mentioned in the documents are. Aphis is governed by three Archons, each of whom inherited an ancient relic, a symbol of their status. The real function of these relics has been forgotten through the ages. Now they're merely regarded as symbolic. Fortunately, I know where to find these Archons, or at least I have a clue to their whereabouts. That sounds promising. The trouble is, even if I can find them, I don't know if I'll be able to communicate with them. Well, I've got my work cut out for me. Time to put my talents to good use. There's also Tanrius and his wife, who went missing in the mine while searching for a way to repair the Nexus. Four objectives this time. Understood? Let's get started. Right, so now we get to do the extended stuff, like go into the deeper part of the mine. Remember, we wanted to help old White Brow. To help him, I, I forget, <laughs> help him do something. But these new areas, I think we have to, yeah, claim the quest. For centuries, Tanrius the Scholar searched endlessly for the key to fixing the aspiration. This is one of the foremost reasons for my having founded the Adherents. I always knew that he and his wife wanted to explore the deeps, but I never thought they would go off in such a hurry. I understand Marissa's worries, but I have other matters on my mind. They wouldn't make such a plan recklessly. They must have discovered some key to repairing the Nexus. Hilda... Go and find them or any new clues they may have left behind. The adherents need any potential help we can get. After Eumenides imprisoned Petrius, the Archon of Clergy, in Styx, all the information that remained of him was but a few rumors. The only useful bit I can provide is this. His Archon relic wasn't confiscated when he was jailed, so you should focus your investigation on Styx. Petrius has always been the most cunning and dangerous character in Aphis. I don't know if he's willing to negotiate, or even if he's still in prison. This operation is not one I can aid you in directly. I must rely on you to gather what information you can without me. Ah, yes. And as for the Northwind Legion member you mentioned, Otto... Please refrain from revealing any of the adherents' plans to him before I can see him myself. I'm sure you understand. 
Argus Plaza. Don't be too surprised. To obtain the Archon of Legion's Relic, you must challenge the Archon's elite warriors with me. Yes, this we will do together. Among the Aristoi, the reputation of Marble, the Archon of Legion, has hit rock bottom, and word of you defeating Eulalia has spread. I happened to get in touch with him and asked him to loan me the Archon Relic in his possession. Marble agreed, but on two conditions. To clear my name, I must participate in the challenges of the traditional Trials of Remission, and you and I must meet with him at the Laurel Mansion, my old home. This is our only chance, so we must seize it. There is a path behind the Laurel Craft that leads to the Argus Plaza. It leads directly to the mansion, but you'll have to go in by a small road on the right side of the main entrance. An Aristoi named Narcus will meet you there. Okay, last one. The sunken outskirt. <sighs> the Archon Serene went missing many years ago, but we received some new information recently. And this time, it's extremely accurate. The intelligence Quintus gave us revealed that the Warax received an urgent command to eliminate an Aristoi's personal guards. The command didn't state who this Aristoi is, but there are very few who would bring so many guards and travel to such a poor area. My guess is that it's Serene, or at least her guards. We need to find a way to use this information and take back the Archon Relic. I don't know if she's still alive, but the whereabouts of both her and the Relic are worth our attention. Perhaps it is my own selfishness, but regardless, indulge me. All right. Yeah, yeah. Time is of the essence. Just pointing to the conduit. Let's go. So I think the first thing we'll do is go to Otto. Because we are trying to find our Northwind Legion companions. That seems like the most urgent of things. So what do we want? We want to go to Styx. Oh, I think it's... yeah, this one. I like the, uh, the ballista up there, the broken ballista. I think they're broken. I hope they're broken. Oh, Otto's inside. The gate's open, but no sign of Otto. See that echo? Order to cease Colossus development in accordance with Article 157 of the new Ephesian Rights Law passed by the Supreme Senate during Periods of peace or when martial law is in effect, the Aphis Legion shall not by any means induce or request non-Legion personnel, including but not limited to Aristoi citizens, slaves, or criminals, to engage with them in military activity. Thus, with immediate effect, all colossal development will cease, as well as the fabrication of colossi by Styx prisoners. Ooh. The colossi stopped being made a thousand years ago. What have they got to do with what happened? Strange. Yeah, I don't know. I smell blood. Is it coming from the stairway? Oh, I've been looking for you. What the hell are you doing? What happened in sticks? I could ask you the same thing, humanities. What's with the monster that refuses to die? You didn't tell me about that. That's not my fault. I told you not to touch anything. And to be careful with those magical traps. Your reckless actions attracted the guard. Those are my men risking their lives for you. My members can keep you here. I have no idea how your head got caught. I was right to come and check on you. Granted, you completed the mission, but just barely. I obviously overestimated your intelligence. Return now, Commander. We're going to get yourself killed in sticks. Let me find your men for you. 
You better keep them safe, humanities. Without us, you won't be able to complete your ritual. All right, all right. I don't have much time. We need to work together to get it done. And I know that you tampered with a device from Fallon Academy. You did nothing but waste your time. Go to the first rally point and wait for me. I'll go find the others. The Trinity Knight is almost upon us. Soon enough, if it was a waste of time or not. Well, this is the only path, right? Oh, this is. Mm, a war hammer. Sean's weapon. Sean would never let his hammer leave his side, let alone leave it in a state like this. The blood's leading in that direction. What's that sound? Damn! Okay. What are you? What are you doing? Oh, we're, we're almost there. <laughs> that was pretty bad. <laughs> ah, that's a good hit. We're dead. <laughs> and we don't want to go out into that hallway because I saw those those shooty statues. And I probably don't want to use fire on that guy. Because he's... good with fire. So let's switch to this. And get back in there. Where is he? Oh, what are you? What are you? Oh, there's another one. What is this guy? Where did he go? Oh. Need to open the door from the other side. Right. He must have gone to the main hallway. Can we just avoid that guy? Is that kind of what we're supposed to do? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there he is. Let's go the other way. Listen. I don't have time for you. Tr troubles around the corner. Uh, oh. I don't think that's the way we want to go. I think we have to go through him. Can we just avoid him? No, come on. No. No. Keep moving. Push the... Push the button. <laughs> Let me through!
not really paying attention to my surroundings. There's oh, yep. I can hear that guy's footsteps. He got hit. He's coming. Keep moving. Push the thing in. There's some stuff here. I don't think he can come through there. I feel like he's I feel like it's right there. I hear him. But I don't Oh, it's, he is right there. Nope. Go, get out of there. I think we just got points for him killing somebody. Let's go on the other side since he's there and see whoa, whoa. let's move slowly. Keep going around here. Huh. Yep. Nope. Nope. Oh, take take that south. He can't go through fit through that doorway there. Right. Uh There is a guy there. Let's leave him alone. And I think we're... Wait, 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 wait. Man. <laughs> the audio. Oh, 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 they're coming. They're here. Okay, 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 hold on. Hilda. Alright, do this. Okay, okay, get out of there. Kill them, stop! The big guy's right there! Oh, we're dead. <laughs> now, do we go left or right? He's right here. We go right. No! <laughs> We have to get past this guy. Yeah, yeah just keep moving. And then... Where... where's that... Where's that doorway? Come on, Hilda. We're out of stamina. We're out of stamina. Get in here. Nope. Hold him off at the door. Everybody else? Is there anything back here? There's this. I'll take that. Right? Where's the guy? Is he coming? Huh. Okay. I think we have a moment. Nope, we don't. Huh. 
we're fine. Oh, not fine. We're fine. We're just gonna murder everybody in here just to get. Just to be on the safe side. Yeah, you too, buddy. Let's take a look at this. List of prisoners. Valente Basilius, Mer Meriton, Nicholas, Sania. Stardust penalty. Oof. Let's drink. There is... Oh, we got the fish symbol. It is pointing up. That makes me want to go see what's down. <sighs> Looks like I've got a chance to catch my breath. Let's see what this says. We've only got one or two things. Yeah, by the north wind, what the hell was that monster? Is that the thing that killed Sean? At least it didn't follow me over here. Let's explore nearby first. I need more information. Let's be careful. I was hoping to find a safe spot. Let's go up. And then I think we'll wrap up for the day. It's, of course. Looks like I need to find the key to the locked door first. Yeah, which means we have to go down. And we'll do that next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our time together. We're in a new area. It's creepy and terrible. We'll see you next time. Take care.